So in this video, I want to go through some examples of writing each of these as a single logarithm. Now, in this, we're going to be utilising this rule. So natural log of e to the x is equal to x. So first one, we have 4 times the natural log of a plus 2 times the natural log of b take away 6 times the natural log of c. And the first thing you want to do is use the power rule. So I'm going to write that as the natural log of a to the 4 plus the natural log of b squared, take away the natural log of c to the 6. Now, ignore the final term and use the product rule on the first two, so always work from left to right. So we'll have the natural log of a to the 4b squared. Now I'm taking away the natural log of c to the 6. And now that's going to be the natural log of a to the 4, b squared, divided by c to the 6, using the quotient rule. And so now it is written as a single logarithm. OK. So the second example, we have 2 times the natural log of x, take away 5 times the natural log of y, take away 1. So first of all, let's bring the 2 up to the power and the 5 up to the power. So we can write that as the natural log of x squared, take away the natural log of y to the 5. And then I've got this take away 1. Now, here I need to think about if x is 1, then I'm going to have natural log of e to the 1. So I need to take away the natural log of e. So working from left to right, ignore the final term there. We can write that as the natural log of x squared over y to the 5, using the quotient rule. And then I've got the natural log of x squared over y to the 5 divided by e. Now, dividing by e is the same as multiplying by 1 over e. So I can write that as x squared over y to the 5 times by 1 over e. So we could write that as the natural log of x squared over y to the 5 times e, or e y to the 5, if you prefer. Some people might prefer that as a, think of it as a coefficient of y. Okay, and that's probably the way that I would want to write that. Okay. So number three, we have one third times the natural log of eight, take away two times the natural log of four plus two. So first of all, deal with the powers. So we have the natural log of eight to the power of one third. Then we've got take away natural log of four squared. And the plus two, if x is two, I'll have the natural log of e squared. So plus the natural log of e squared. So let's tidy this up. We have the natural log of eight to the power of one third, which is two take away the natural log of 16 plus the natural log of e squared. So working from left to right, we will use the quotient rule first. So the natural log of 2 over 16 is the natural log of 1 over 8. And now we have the natural log of 1 8 times e squared, so e squared over 8. Okay, using the product rule. Okay, so last one, we have 3 times the natural log of 5, take away open bracket 1 half times the natural log of 10,000, take away 3, close bracket. So let's deal with the power first. We have the natural log of 5 cubed, then I'm going to multiply through by that minus sign, so take away, and I'm going to bring the half up to the power. So take away the natural log of 10,000 to the power of a half. And now I've got take away minus 3, so plus 3. And if x is 3, I can write that as the natural log of e cubed. So I've expanded the brackets out and brought the powers up 
and also replace the three with natural log of e cubed. Okay, so I've done a few steps there in one. So we have the natural log of 125, take away the natural log of 100, plus the natural log of e cubed. So working from left to right, we have the natural log of 125 over 100 using the quotient rule. So that would be 5 quarters. And then using the product rule, we can write that as the natural log of 5 quarters times e cubed, or 5e cubed over 4. Okay, and that's the last one.